How you guys doing? They're still hitting me in the throat, too. This is another thing of importance. In reference to the facts of information and the royal protocol and the media, every government branch has copies of that document. So in reference to your satellite, man, you, you said you had somebody on a watch list, right? Who do you think I am? And which person uh, ordered this uh, satellite torture watch list? I, I've had beautiful teeth my whole life until your people damaged them. So why'd you damage my teeth? Because you wanted to make up... You wanted to confuse asthma, hyperventilation for what? For cancer? Well, then that means the Asthma Association gets to execute you too. Do you understand your medical lies can get you killed? It's called diagnosis murder. You're trying to murder people by damaging their teeth and suffocating on them and messing with their face and fracturing their bones in their face. Do you understand what that means, government man? Do you understand what the laws are? You know, in reference to the information, the medical industry, in reference to good understanding of people that know the facts, most of them probably have the list of information of what information of what my mother and father had on record in reference to my anatomy. And it says, don't ever steal nothing from my anatomy. And don't forget, there's diamonds inside my body that my mother and father had personally put there. And anybody trying to steal those diamonds must be shot and killed. They're from my mother and father's royal private collection of my grandfather's diamonds, too. Bloodline only. 100% bloodline. Not any children have any connection to any of those diamonds either. Not any relationship, like if I dated a girl, or if I ever thought to get married. <laughs> Not from these diamonds, man. The diamonds in my body are supposed to stay in my body. My parents personally put them there. And they are not for any relationship. They're not for any girlfriend. They're not for any child. They are for me and only me. Do you understand that? So any medical person that tried to steal any diamonds from my anatomy must be put on trial for execution. Now, in reference to body scans, the airport probably has some records of any of the diamonds. They, they might have records of some things. And if there was any politician or any medical person that tried to steal diamonds from my royal anatomy, you must get prosecuted. And somebody say, oh, what if you had debts? I'm tax-free since the day I was born, man. That would cover all debts. First of all, I don't have any debts. You've held me hostage and tried to call me somebody else. Is what you did. You tried to call me somebody else so you could get away with stealing from my sperm or my blood or from my anatomy or my penis. If there's any court cases that have went on at any time ever and they didn't mention my birth name, those court judges could end up in prison. You're not allowed to downgrade me into other names that you tried to call me, government man. You're not allowed to label me with your tricks of your trade or your bribery that you accepted from other con artists that are trying to steal my family history or my family wealth. Do you understand what that means, government man? You're going to need to go to court. And the fact that men trying to steal my sperm with their human trafficking game or people trying to steal my sperm and blocking me from my motion picture studios or my TV networks or radio stations or my mother and father's estates. You're going to have to go to prison. You're going to have to go to court, government man. Now, even, even the Ray family, when I was held hostage back in the 80s, knew I had asthma had a particular type of hyperventilation thing. Now, I'm not associated with them, but I'm just saying that even they knew that. My mother even had court cases back in the 80s in Indianapolis, Indiana. What's my mother's name, government man? The real Doris Duke. 
Is that my mother's name, government? You need to go into court. You say you don't know the information, government? You tried to make me look like the bad guy? Yeah, if somebody wants you to know, what's his father's name, government freak? His father's probably going to come back to life. That's what somebody wants you to know. Oh, hopefully, hopefully my father can come back to life and hopefully, you know, Korea and China and Japan and England and France and Italy and there'd be security or something, of course, right? Reference to protection of my father and mother when, when they get unfrozen and come back to life. I mean, I think it's of importance. Now, look at how many times these people have injured me. Look how many times I almost died. Haven't received a fucking penny from anywhere. I want to know why your government people tried to call me a bad person. You better answer the question, man. Why you been zapping me in the teeth? Why you been zapping me with your lasers from handheld lasers and laser tagging devices? I need an answer, man. You say you were so, what? gullible that you listen to somebody else's lies we need to know the race and religion of what you are and the accusator because you got to be profiled as a criminal government man or a politician freak whoever you are the rural protocols in the media for a lot of reasons it even tells you on that document that i have like a hyperventilation asthma it tells you that it says don't damage my teeth too for a lot of reasons. And you don't have a right to damage them trying to make them look crooked or anything. You, you thought somebody had a crooked mouth, man? Name one fucking thing that you say that you thought was crooked about me. You call me a liar? That royal protocol's in the media, government man. There's documents of who I am since the day I was born. And every motherfucking lie that your people have ever said... You have to get sued for. Anybody spreading rumors, slandering my characters, more lawsuits against the government. Reverence to any type of slanderous uh, accusations of something criminal or anything like that. You thought since I had a big penis, you thought big penises meant a person was a pervert? No, on the contrary, dumbass. On the contrary... You're very wrong about that. Most perverts have little dicks. Don't they? And most of them have big balls, don't they? Check the history. You tried to profile somebody that had a big penis because you were trying to steal their wealth and family history. You're probably the people that murdered John Holmes, aren't you, government man? Dirty faggots. You need to go into court for that information, too. Lots of things of importance. So in reference to the activity, government man, you thought damaging my front teeth, you thought, you thought you'd become a celebrity among your friends? You need to go into court and your names are automatically on the hate club list. And the IRS has to go after your people is what somebody tried to communicate or something. Think you're funny, don't you? Think you're a faster runner than me? Think you're a better athlete than me? And don't forget, a satellite can hit a person anywhere and cause disruptions in their body of some type. So whether it's, but it's like if you're a person that has asthma or if you have hyperventilation asthma, there's a few places that they hit you, which causes a problem. Hmm. But a satellite can hurt anybody. A satellite can hurt anybody's leg, anybody's arm, anybody's face, anybody's teeth. It can hurt anybody. The question is, government man, why are you looking at me with a satellite? Why are you burning my face and teeth? You better have an answer. You claim, you claim that you thought my father owed you something? Well, we need to see this information that you got, man. My parents didn't didn't do no word of mouth contracts, man. 
That's not how things work. Billionaires and trillionaires don't work that way, man. No, they don't. Our quadrillionaire acknowledgments of, you know, I'm the trillionaire, quadrillionaire baby. How rich was you born as, government man? I'm the only child of my mother and father. You need to go into court, man. Put your muscles on, too. Then I'll put my muscles on. And we can see how that turns out. Because you, you think you're just so ballsy. But I got little balls. But I got a big penis, naturally. Do you think, you think sexual aggression comes from balls or from penises? See, my penis is my penis. It's royally documented since the day I was born. And documented as a tycoon acknowledgments of who I am. And I'm the only child of my mother and father. Why you have a satellite burning on me, man? You mistaken identity? No, see, that's trillions of dollars every time you try to play mistaken identity, government, man. I'm not playing your shit. You thought that you used some impersonator that came from where? Where'd your impersonator come from? He sure in the fuck didn't come from my mother and father's mansions or reference to any family castles of which my family relatives or my mother and father or grandparents or family history. So, so where did your, uh, where'd your impersonator come from? Poor class, middle class, rich class. Where? <coughs> where? You thought you would try to terrorize and mutilate my life because you had some ugly guy or some other type of guy or some good looking guy of your race that tried to steal my unique looks. Somebody will tell you there ain't nobody else in the world that looks like me, man. In reference to my body shape, facial straight shape, teeth, acknowledgments, and unique qualities. There's not people, there's not, I don't have a twin either. You tried to make up that lie shit. No, I don't have no twin. You need to go into court, man. Hey, that Mr. Olympia thing is, you know, how you guys doing in reverence to the Mr. Olympia guys? You know, watched it a little on there and, you know, watched it and it was pretty good. <coughs> they hit me in the throat again. <coughs> What do you think that's from? Satellite, isn't it? Why are you damaging my teeth, man? You said you didn't like somebody. Well, I guess you better be in your own fucking country. Because according to the laws in this country, you don't have a right picking on people you don't like. I don't go near you. You ain't got no right being on my mother and father's property. Yeah, and somebody, uh, somebody communicated something earlier saying, well, he needs to be in the rich neighborhood near his mother and father's property. Well, obviously, that's for sure. But this is a hostage situation, and all 50 governors and 50 mayors of all 50 states have not delivered a fucking thing to my mailbox. They haven't even been able to get through on the phone either. This is endangerment. The activities of these people. And where's my asthma hyperventilation benefits? I haven't received any of those monies either. These government people holding me hostage, government man damaging my teeth. Where's the lawsuits, dude? We need the date. Uh, we need the date shown in court from the teeth damage. Hmm. And don't forget, every time they broke a tooth, it was documented. That they burnt my teeth. They've been burning my teeth. Satellite numbers are documented. The history of this situation is documented. You say you don't like somebody, government man. Well, what if everybody thought that about you? You didn't like people in America? You thought you'd blame Americans? You thought you'd blame me? Slandering my character? You people kidnapped me from girlfriends? that were potential wives possibly a potential wife potential wife you know or a girlfriend i was dating it just depends you know you know 
and you're blocking me from, are you blocking them from calling me on the phone? You're blocking them from sending me emails. You're blocking them from text messaging me. I haven't received any text messages from any of them. Not even friends in productions or stuntmen that have known me since I was a little boy. Or people that was in martial arts movies. When I was little, I was in some martial arts movies. And sitcoms and TV shows. Who are you? You think you got more history in Hollywood than me? That Royal Protocol has been in the media since I was born, man. Do you understand that, government man? You need to go into court. Um, back to the uh, Mr. Olympia. Hello, in reference to the contestants of the Mr. Olympia. Everybody was cool. Everything is cool. I think it's cool, you know. Uh, you know. Has anybody ever seen me with my muscles on? In reference to the 80s or the 90s or the years of 2000 in bodybuilding competitions. And hello, Joe Weeder, and hello, GNC and Vitamin Shop. Lots of things of importance. And uh, Joe Weeder, you need to, and the Vitamin Shop and the GNC needs to file attempted murder charges in reference to them damaging my teeth. Very serious, very important. And in reference to them holding me hostage in Indiana, when everybody knows that Indiana has a high humidity environment or humid environment, you know, in reference to being in some cities and states for a short period of time, that's one thing. But, you know, in reference to certain types of climates or certain types of situations, like I'm supposed to have been able to leave a long time ago, but I don't have the money because the government's blocking me from my mother and father's accounts that my parents had set up for me. They're burning my throat right now. They, tried, they made me up, Chuck. They just hit me in the front teeth, too. Another $75 trillion lawsuit against the American government. It is unethical not to pay these lawsuits, American government. It's unethical for you to allow these people to be doing this to me. And since you were in office, your names, whoever anybody is on the record of politics, it goes on their background check, too, their background history. So hopefully you're all really trying to do something to to help me move to a, mo a better city and state and a better neighborhood. Because it's going to go on your records. That's just the facts. Roll protocols in the media 24 hours a day.